good day everyone so now we are back and we will discuss how to mine safex cache on mainnet so for those who, uh, who are not aware of what's happening mainnet was launched a couple of days ago but it had a big hiccup um, what happened was that they had only three active nodes and someone thrown too much mining power and it actually split the network um, basically created a hard fork so people were mining some coins but they were not like real coins because they it was a different different blockchain um, Daniel Dubik announced uh, reset of the network and it's a, you can see on the screen it says the main net as of what's the day today is 6th of September it says that the main net binary is in 4 hours and 13 minutes but in fact the main net was already launched and some people are mining including me um, but the difference is um, they're going in 4 hours release uh, repos repositories which will make it easy for everyone to compile a network themselves so, so you can just mine from your computer your PC or virtual machine this is how I do and how I would recommend so let's begin from a uh, pool mining option first um, I think pool mining is actually quite a good idea because if you do CPU then your chances of mining one block with average CPU hash rate is quite small um, I can't really tell you um, when can you mine one block well they will take you know a week or a month or you can never do it but I've decided myself to try a pool I haven't done it before but I now connected um, to one pool which called Safex Cash Mining Pool and I think there will be two more as far as I know and I will show you now how to set mining from virtual machine, virtual VPS, sorry not virtual machine, I meant VPS and uh, how to get coins into your wallet so one of the problems you'll come across now, I mean at least in the next four hours, that you won't have a wallet. Um, I managed to create a wallet because uh, I was one of those people who set up nodes after a crash and um, Daniel Dubek asked for members to um, compile certain type of um, blockchain which will be running and but it will be a node as well um, don't worry if you missed out on that opportunity because as far as I know you're not going to get any benefits uh, so it's not like a master node which will give you some free coins no you won't get it so we did it just purely to keep the network running so when I did that it allowed me to create um, basically to compile a blockchain and create a wallet so that's why I do have a wallet but if you don't have one don't worry wait for another four hours by the time I publish this video uh, you can probably do this, but I'll come back to it at the end of this video um, If you don't know how to set up VPS, uh, please go back to my first video and it's well explained So I won't go through this again For mining uh, from uh, to Safex pool, what you need you first need to install a program called FileZilla I mean most of you probably know about this uh, But it allows you to transfer files from your computer to the um, to another computer like VPS server for example so all you do you go on their website download the version you need I already done it I already set it up so I won't go in details Google um, how to use FileZilla and it's fairly simple as always what we do first we log in into party program so what I'll do I'll load the settings open okay always come back with this ask for a username you if you're using Vermac your username will be root which allows you direct root access and then you type your password you can't see it here but I'm typing my password you will see a prompt 
So when you type your password, I think I mentioned before that you can't see yourself typing, but it's actually there. And here we go. You press OK. Just press help. Right. So we're logged in. First of all, as we did in previous videos, you need to um, uh, install the latest version. It will take some time because this is Ubuntu 16.04. It's long-term long support, but it will take at least a few minutes to do that. Um, in the meantime, I'll tell you about the process in general. So first, we are going to create custom configuration on um, pool software. Then we are going to download a program from Git, GitHub, which will allow us to mine. Then we will have to modify that program in a way that we can mine directly into that pool and we can set up parameters according to our machine. Like depends how many cores or how much of your CPU you want to use. Because if you're mining from your own computer, then you can't really use all cores. You can only use, uh, let's say, if you have four, you can only use three because otherwise you won't be able to use your PC for anything else. So let's wait for a bit until it gets updated. So that's FileZilla I mentioned. Let me just guide you through this website. Uh, we'll expand it. So what you have here, you have a dash, you've got a dashboard, which is it just gives you general information about how many safex you get. You pay one percent the pool fee. Uh, it tells you how many miners at present they've got seven. Um, worker statistics. We haven't got it now, but by the end of this video, uh, you will be able to see your progress. So this is getting started. Uh, it will be our our main focus. So whilst everything is getting updated, let's go through um, configuration. So we need to do you need your wallet address. As I discussed, if you haven't got one, just wait for a bit, and you'll get one eventually. You put wallet address, so you will be mining into your wallet. You walk a name. I will use Polymath. Create configuration. So if you're mining on CPU, right? This is what I do. You won't be using this, but you'll rather use this program. It gives you settings. So this is your address for Safex pool, Safex X mining. Pro, double three, double three. Your username is your wallet address, and this is your password. I will show you later why you need this information. You click download. So now your antivirus system will almost definitely prevent you from downloading this software. I already um, deactivated my antivirus, so you do it, and then after everything is sorted, switch it back on. Click on this file. You see, it started downloading. So that's done. Close this for now. So in the meantime, let's keep this going. Open your FileZilla pro program. I already connected. To my VPS server. So as I said, I'm not going to go through details, but you, you type your IP address here, your name, your password, your port, in most cases is 22. And it will show you, this is my downloads folder. And this is information which I have on my VPS server. Right. So when you go to FileZilla, you will see downloads here, but you need to refresh it. Which you refreshed, and let me show you. 
there will be a file which you need to upload to your VPS. You just click upload. So all files transferred. Then from your terminal win window, you need to run a command which called tar xvzf and then you need the name of that file so let's go back copy the name copy and paste in here so what it does it installed um, this pro mining program Type ls to see which folder is available. So you can see this is the file which we just opens, and this is actually the folder we need. So you type cd, copy in this folder, and you're in. Again, see what's happening there, and you can see xm rig file. This is the file where we will be running. But before we do this, we need to do something. So let's go to FileZilla again refresh it go to xmrig folder and then you can see json file here right which says configuration so what you need to do you need to view this file and edit some information in it right so it, it now open this file for you and here we need to open Mining pool information. So what we need to type, if you scroll along this file, you can see different parameters here. The night level we change to one. It's one percent. Um, actually, in fact, I'm not sure whether they do it automatically because by default it says five but the website says one so I just change it to one which is fair enough max CPU usage I'll just set 100% because I'm not going to use it for anything else but that's up to you you can um, use less of your CPU memory so copy this URL and paste it instead of this I think it probably it was it was designed for uh, Monero mining. Then your wallet. Wallet, paste, and password. In this case, will be my username. And no. Keep alive true. Then another variable you need to change is the number of threads. I put four because I've got four core CPU, so it depends on your capabilities. So it's all done. Save this, go back to Polzilla. Yes, replace this file. Let's sort it. So your software is set. For parameters we need now what we need to do before we run the file we use screen command as we did before and you limit t unlimited to prevent your VPS from shutting down after some time uh, oh, wrong command sorry That's sorted now. So what you do, you just run um, xm press, and here we are. It's done. So you started mining. So now, now let's do something different. Now let's check. Oh 
I'm sorry, I'm just checking. Uh, yeah, donate, it says 1%. It's using four, yeah, using four threads. Kryptonite algorithm. You don't need to do anything with it now. You can just close it. The speed will gradually go up. It doesn't show the speed now. Uh, but we will come back in a couple of minutes and I'll I'll tell you how to check the speed. So if you copy this address and you go worker statistics, click paste, look up. This is you see my performance, right? This is not actually from this machine because I think this VPS is not con connected now because I'm mining from uh, several VPS. Uh, but looking at this, you will see I just started mining, so there's practically nothing in here. There's a pending balance, total paid. I haven't um, withdrawn anything yet. Total hash. And then you can see top 10 miners. There are not many miners actually, even with, with very um, average hash power, I'm, I'm third on the list. And that's it, you just wait for the reward and pay 1% of your mining to somebody who owns this mining pool. Well, this is how they make money. This is quite actually uh, small, it only says 70 hash power. On Virmark you usually get about 120, but it takes a bit of time to pick up. We finished with pool mining. Uh, the only one thing I want to mention about DIY mining, go back to my second video and how to mine suffix cache. The procedure is absolutely the same. Uh, I don't think you can do it right now, you can try, but after it's launched, after these four hours, or maybe less left now, um, you can follow the same procedure, except when you get to the end, you don't type safexd testnet. In fact, it's not safexd, it should have been like this. You need to type only safexd. And it will um, launch mainnet, and after that you can start mining. This is all for today. Um, if anything changes, I'll post another vi another video. Don't worry about remembering what I mentioned in the video. I'll put everything below. Um, ask me any questions, and I will reply as soon as I can.